Hi children, welcome back. In the previous video, we had discussed about how to make a frequency table in different ways. Okay, now let's move on to the next topic, a new picture. We have seen how numerical data can be pictorially represented as bar graphs or pie diagrams. Now let's see how the data given in a frequency table can be represented by a picture. The table below gives the amount of water 50 household use. So this is the amount of water in liters and number of households, total 50. So let's draw a histogram using this frequency table. Okay. Here classes are marked on the horizontal line and frequency on the vertical line. Let's draw the histogram. From 0 to 500, 3 numbers of households are using waters. Okay. So mark 3 and draw the lines. Then from 500 to 1000, the number of households is 5. So mark 5 and then draw the lines. Next, from 1000 to 1500, 7 number of households are using. So, mark 7 in the graph and then draw the lines. Next, from 1500 to 2000, 10 members are using. So, Mark 10 in the graph and draw the lines. Next from 2000 to 2500, 14 numbers of households. So mark 14 in the graph and then draw the lines. Next from 2500 to 3000, 8 numbers, so mark 8 and draw the line and then last 3000 to 3500, 3 number of households, so mark 3 and draw the lines. So the width of each rectangle shows a frequency, such a picture is called histogram. Okay children, let's do an activity question in your textbook page number 206. The table shows the times 30 children took to complete a long distance race. Draw the histogram of this. So here the time in minute is given and the number of children completed the race. So let's draw the histogram. Here the class are marked on horizontal line that is the time taken and the frequency on the vertical line that is the number of children. From 10 to 13 minutes 2 children has completed the race. So mark 2 and draw the lines and then from 13 to 16 5 children has completed the race so mark 5 on the graph and then draw the lines and then from 16 to 19 12 children has completed the race so mark 12 on the graph and then draw the lines And then next, from 19 to 22, 8 children has completed the race. From the minute 19 to 22, 8 children. So mark 8 and then draw the lines. Then last, from 22 to 25 minutes, 3 children has completed the race. So mark 3 on the graph and then draw the lines. Thus, we have got the required histogram using a frequency table. Like this, try to do the answer of these questions in your textbook page number 206. That's all for today. Thank you.